Okay, so part four, we're going to work with the eye whites this time. Uh, in my uh, written little shortcut uh, cheat sheet, I guess, for portrait editing, I do show you how to get rid of things like these eye veins, but we're not going to worry about that. If we were at school, we would, but we're not going to do eye veins. Megan doesn't have very many. She's got a little red one, you know, in there, here and there, but they aren't really troublesome. So we are going to brighten her eyes, though, a little bit, the whites of her eyes. We'll zoom right in on her eyes. And three quick steps here on this one. Duplicate your layer. So again, I'm going to drag that top merge layer from my last step and duplicate that. Change the blend mode on this layer to be screen. Wow, did those eye, eye whites ever get white? Again, we're not going to leave it like this, so don't worry. We're going to hide that underneath a black mask. So again, Hold down your Alt key when you hit the mask button. That way it'll be black instead of the regular white. That just hid that entire layer behind it. Now the mask is black. So I am going to paint with white. So make sure you are on a white brush. And again, your brush should be just a little bit soft so you don't have too, too hard of an edge. Somewhere maybe around that 85 or 90 spot just so you get a little bit of feathering on the edge of it. And what you're going to do is you're going to paint in those whites. Now, as you paint that white in, don't worry about being sloppy, okay? What I find is that it's way easier to come in and clean it up afterwards. Uh, but what you're going to do is you're going to paint in on these whites. And I'm just going to increase my brush size so that I can really paint in. And I'm going to spill out over top on purpose because I find it's easier to come in and clean it up afterwards with the black brush than it is to be really accurate uh, on the first brush. So I'm just going to come in like this. That's kind of a mess, right? And so now I switch my brush color to black. So I'm going to hit my X and now I can come in and I can clean that up. I'm going to zoom in because then I can really see what I'm doing in here. And I'm going to get in there and clean that up so that I'm right up beside the whites of those eyes. Okay. You want a fairly large brush so that you don't get uh, any kind of a squiggly kind of a line there. And go ahead and just clean that up. Oops, I kind of went too far over. And I'm going to clean that up around here. You can see where I missed too, hey? So I need to do a little bit of touching that up in there. Go ahead and just do the whites of the eyes. I'm going to pause my video and then I'll come back when I've got it almost finished and show you what the next piece is. Okay, so back uh, out of her a little bit, zoom out so that you can actually see what she looks like. Uh, very ghosty right now. We're definitely not going to leave it like that. So you can see I've got these really white eyes happening. Last step, back that opacity off. So you can take that, start again at that 50% mark. Take a look. I think that's still a little bit too much in my case. So I'm going to go down maybe around that 35% mark. Shut your eyeball off, turn it back on, off, turn it back on. That still might be a little bit too much. So I'm going to even drag that opacity down a little bit further. So let's get down here around maybe the 20 year. So percent mark, again, I'll shut my eyeball off, my eyeball on. That is looking a little bit more natural. They're a little whiter, but they're not in your face alien looking. I'm going to go even further down, 15%. That's going to be my magic number, which I can't get there unless I type it in. And you can type things in if you want to get to an exact number. You can type them in there. Once more, I'll just check it. Eyeball off, eyeball on. There you go. Just nicely whitened a little bit. So you know what the steps are now. Sitting on that top layer, Control, Shift, Alt, E. That makes the merged layer that is done. Double click the name of it, and we are going to call this I Whites Done. And then we're going to save this out as a PSD file. And this time we are going to call it Part 4 I Whites. Oh, my memory's run out. I'm going to have to close the things down. Let's see if I can stop this recording in the meantime for you guys.